Some parents are not happy about a new dress code at a local middle school. The new rules ban all black clothing, with administrators linking it to depression. CBS 4 at 10's Julia Spencer is live in Northeast El Paso, where she talked with educators about the controversial dress code. Well, the clothes I'm wearing right now are okay according to their dress code policy. But if I were to wear this shirt with these pants, then I would be sent to their office. They can wear, uh, you know, like black shorts uh, to go to PE. And, um, you know, they can wear it on free dress day, uh, but they just cannot wear it from uh, top to bottom. Students at Charles Middle School will be heading back to school soon, but won't be allowed to wear all black clothing. According to a letter sent to parents by Principal Nick DeSantis, the school is eliminating all black clothing because he says it's associated with depression and mental health issues. It's what they are uh, not allowing anymore. Many people disagree with this new policy, posting comments online saying the color of clothing has nothing to do with your ability to do anything or feel any emotion, says Alex Lucero. Another comment by Peter Beneke Jr. says wearing black is not a mental health issue. It's the way of life. And Alexis Contreras commented making students wear a different color isn't going to magically make them a completely different person. Now the colors are, are, not, uh, are, are not so much for, to prevent or stop mental health issues. Uh, I mean, you can have the most colorful dress on and still be suffering through depression or whatever. I asked EPSD what led them to connect all black clothing to depression and mental health issues. And they responded in a statement that says in part, quote, the dress code changes were a response to concerns and recommendations brought forward by the stakeholders of Charles Middle School. But for students returning to school Monday, you can expect to see these new clothing changes on this campus. So parents that, you know, are upset, you know, they just need to make sure that they go through and read the dress code policy, you know, very, very carefully. Now, EPSD begins their school year this Monday, and to read their full statement on this new dress code policy, you can find that on our website at cbs4local.com. I'm reporting from Northeast El Paso, Julia Spencer, CBS4 at 10.